Hey guys, welcome to that hypothetical nonsense. We're talking about Abraham Lincoln. We're talking about zombies. We're talking about rainbow pee, poop forest, and everything that you can think of. Thanks for the watching. Enjoy. I can start things off if everyone's ready to get get started. Yeah, please start things off, Will. Hey guys, welcome to the hypothetical non-pack. <laughs> one more time <laughs> hey guys welcome to the hypothetical nonsense podcast where nothing is real and everything is is made up and <laughs> today we have a very special guest this is my friend joe oh i don't need it yeah you go say no <laughs> what up guys how's it going my name's joe nice to be on here thank you guys for having me of yeah. course this joe is my friend from high school joe um and i go way back we met freshman year actually he was one of my very first friends in my in my new school that i moved to and we have a very rich and uh charming history, charming history. <laughs> i couldn't think of another word thanks for coming out into the woods thank you i, I love being outdoors mm -hmm. from the pacific northwest um okay. would you rather live the life of abraham lincoln or steve harvey <laughs> I don't know anything about Steve Harvey. You don't know Steve Harvey? I don't know about his life. He has a life. cool mustache, and he's African-American and black. Abraham Lincoln was gay. Abraham Lincoln was not gay. He was gay. Was he? Mm -hmm. Do you think he was gay, Joe? Abraham Lincoln was a really good wrestler, and I'll say that much. Okay. Is that real? Yeah. You guys his should go big, look up his record. Ass? Yeah, he's a long boy. He could sprawl on you. You couldn't catch him in a, in a double leg, you know, it, too long for you. How tall was he? Uh, tall. Big man on campus. With big, six, with four, a big hat. Six five. Very tall. How much do you think he had to eat? I can't imagine. I can't. He's skinny. Of Limber. Who's gaunt? Who's who's more famous and more universally loved, Abraham Lincoln or Steve Harvey? Abraham Lincoln, but like imagine but how shitty he? that is. Because people love Steve Harvey. Like they make Steve Harvey makes you laugh. When you think of Abraham Lincoln, I don't even think people know much more then about he what he said. Slaves. Yeah, no, they know what he did, but like, d do they have an emotional connection to him? Did Abraham Lincoln ever make you laugh? I don't think so. <laughs> Not the way Steve Harvey makes Not me laugh. Not the way Steve Harvey. <laughs> yeah, but okay, okay, in a hundred fucking years, nobody's no gonna, gonna know give a shit about Steve who Steve Harvey, Harvey is. True. Everyone's gonna be like, still. Not if I can help it. <laughs> you're gonna stop Abraham Lincoln's legacy? Yeah, to, to promote. To Har promote Steve Harvey? Harvey, yes. I keep wanting to say Harvey Weinstein. Stop! <laughs> There's no way in 100 years people are going to forget about Steve Harvey. He's the most iconic Family Feud host of all time. He is excellent. He's the True. only... Can you... No, nope, uh, there were others. There were others. It was on for a very long time. And who fucking cares? Who are the other hosts That's of Family saying. Feud? Yeah. He's so iconic. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. We love him. Wait, yeah. okay, I got a question here. Abraham Lincoln, like, if I chose not to be him, would he still have existed and done what he did? Or like, oh. am I stopping oh, all that progress Abraham that Abraham Lincoln. Lincoln? Well, if Abraham Lincoln never existed, then Steve Harvey would have been a slave. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I think if I were Abraham Lincoln, I, that would be such a huge responsibility to unify um, the South and the North. He was not happy. You think Abraham no, Lincoln was, was happy? No, he was not happy. Mm, there are probably little moments in his life, you know. Oh, that's yeah. kind of beautiful. I think that when he felt the bullet coming in through the back of his head, he was like, oh, thank God. This fucking play is just boring. And my <laughs> dumb wife. I'd rather be fucking a man right now. <laughs> nice. You think he really would, like, thank John Wilkes Booth for shooting him? Yeah, he would have been like... <laughs> you know John Wilkes Booth ate oatmeal the, the morning that he fucking shot him? Why is that important? How do you know that information? That's, like, the only thing I remember from his history class in eighth grade. That he ate oatmeal. Yeah, he had oatmeal for breakfast. Well, he knew he had a lot going on that day. He's like, yeah. I got to get some real good energy in me. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be feeling like bloated. I yeah. want to have some greasy, weird breakfast. Like, this is going to be a good breakfast where I can perform an assassination yeah. to the best of my ability. Yeah. And then wake up the next morning, you know, feeling good. Frosted Flakes, breakfast of champions. Oatmeal, uh, breakfast of ass assassinators. <laughs> president assassinators. We should I, I wonder how many president assassinators ate oatmeal for breakfast. I bet, uh, what was his name? Mark David Chapman. Who did he assassinate? John Lennon. Uh, who arguably is, is probably more influential than a lot of U.S. presidents. Yeah, because who fucking cares about, like, Millard Fillmore? <laughs> <laughs> like, name one thing Millard Fillmore did. Do you know? I don't think we should be dissing Millard Fillmore on this podcast like that. 
What if they come after us? <laughs> the ghost of Millard Fillmore haunts me in my fucking dreams. Mm. Mm-hmm. I'm fine with that. Mm-hmm. I laugh. I had a fucking dream two nights ago that I was I was flossing so much like food out of my teeth that what are you looking at my teeth? No, I'm just interested to hear where this is going. I was flossing so much food out of my teeth that there was enough that I I made it into a pop tart and then I ate it. Okay, what flavor did it taste most similar to? Uh, I, I think it was like as gross as you'd think like I remember eating it and being like yeah this was not a good idea I don't know why I thought it was a good idea I thought I thought it was more funny but it was red what does that Philly. mean okay what does that mean have you guys ever been though kind of stoked like when you do find a little piece of food in your teeth that you just ate like an hour ago and you're like this is still pretty good yeah like oh, yeah. so the pop tart oh, could be kind of good like, like flavor like, saver yeah yeah, yeah. You know well, what I'm anything that's gross that I produce I, I eat <laughs> yep Everything. Boogers. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's not. One and the same. Mucus. They're tasty. It's a tasty little treat for me. Bile. You know what? <laughs> I don't like bile. Bile is I don't like. I don't like drinking bile. Oh, I threw up like a couple weeks ago, and I, I drank blue Gatorade right before. Mm. That shit was. Was it blue? No, it was good. Yeah, it was. Oh. It was. It, I, it, it, I, threw, I threw up, and it tasted the same as it came in. I swear to God, I'm laughing not, at you. I've I'm never not, seen her laugh like that. <laughs> I'm not joking either. I it was good. So so <clears throat> another thing, another copy that we can give to Gatorade for advertising is that if you drink Gatorade, your vomit will taste amazing. Well, I mean, I'm sure if you ate like a bunch of like a bunch of like um what's a food? Fish and chips before and then you drank blue Gatorade and then threw up. Then It'd be it was, but it was like my stomach was completely empty. Coated with, and I drank, I drank water and blue Gatorade, and then it was good. Mm-hmm. So, you drank it. I drank it. That's nice, bud. Don't touch my fucking hand. <laughs> okay. Can you list all the different blue Gatorade flavors? Because there's probably like five that I can think of that are in the category of blue. I'd say like what? Oh, don't have you, you think? heard about the the Gatorade? Is it yellow or is it green? Do you know what I'm talking about? You're talking about the lemon lime flavor. Yeah. <laughs> Because hmm. lemons Cause are yellow. yellow and the limes are green. Because it's yellow. That's a that's yellow. Let me see. This oh, is a question for Steve here. Harvey. This is a question for Steve Harvey. Yes, Steve Harvey. I didn't mean to cut you off because I'm sure there are many many color uh, different blue Gatorades, but I, I wanted to know: Do you think that the Gatorade is yellow or green? I'm calling it yellow just because it's kind of the color of my pee sometimes, and I call that yellow. Okay. Yep. I yep. never say I have pink yeah, green. Yeah, green is odd. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't do that. That's so weird. Aren't there? Well, asparagus pee is tint. No, it doesn't do the tint. I don't think it makes it. It doesn't make it green. No, it just gives it this excellent smell. Wait, I kind of like it. Have you peed yeah. a different color before? Then what? Then, then orange, yellow. yellow, green, and blue? No. <laughs> wait, a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. The colors that you pee, everyone knows: orange, <laughs> yellow, green, and blue. Do you do it in like a cycle? Like each day is a different color? Or is it kind of like sometimes it's like rainbow? Like it starts it orange and then it kind of morphs into this blue, crazy rainbow tie-dye pee. Pee pee would be more fun if it changed colors while you were peeing. Oh, so fun. I'm, I'm would, having a red it would, day. It would give a lot more information too. Mm-hmm, about your health. About your health. Yeah. Like what if like you could pee blue and then you're like, oh, I like my liver is failing. <laughs> yes. Yes. Or... Or your liver is failing, your eyes turn yellow. Right. Right. Yeah, that or would be cool. that's kidney failure. That would be so cool. That happens. Yeah, that would be really cool. I would never flush the toilet <laughs> if my pee was rainbow. I just leave it in there. Yeah. Oh, it's a piece of art. Oh, yeah. I would pee on canvases and then I give it to people. Uh, no. Are we moving on? Everyone poops. Everyone pees as well. Mm-hmm. Not everyone pees. But everyone poops from the same place. Oh, yeah, we pee okay. from different places. From different places. Yeah, I mean, the pee experience is a lot it's different. different. It's very different. It's, it's your urethra. Ways. It's like you can... Yeah, but yours is like, yours is out in the world. Mine is hidden. We have like a pro aim. a multi-angle, like di- multi-directional, like we could pee... A hose. Anywhere. Yeah. Any direction. We could change directions. Mm-hmm. It's like so much more like control. Mm-hmm. Like that's why... Yeah. Like I peed in the shower upwards. And that was lit. It's mm. like a geyser. I pee in the shower, though. Yeah, but it's like boring. Like, oh, it just drips down your leg. Okay. <laughs> it does not drip down my leg. But 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 well, yes, the- I see what you're saying. There's only one direction. I think it's a huge... You can only piss down. It it sucks. There are times when I'm out in public, uh, 
when we're on 6th Street, where I'm just like, if I had a dick, I'd be peeing everywhere that I'm not supposed to be peeing. But I can't. I'm confined to a bathroom because it's just not not convenient. Joe to, is to known pee. for peeing in places that... You're not supposed to pee? I'm somewhat of a piss expert here, actually. Oh, an um, exhibitionist. I have done some excellent pisses. One time I was in my car. I had no bathroom around me. I said, goodness gracious, I have to pee. Mm. Had an empty Coke can. Mm. Not a drop was spilled. Not a drop. Wait, how That's much? Impressive. Oh, but was okay. Was your was the tip touching the can? TMI. Right. Oh. TMI. Too, okay, yeah, that's too, that's that's too personal. That. I'm what, sorry. what was the most dangerous pee? Like the one where you were like, "Oh, I'm gonna nail this," and then it went everywhere, and you're like, "Okay." <sighs> so one time I was on this uh, football trip, going, you know, traveling somewhere to play a game, and um, there were these urinals, and I was one leg in it. So uh, I put my leg up onto the urinal divider. And then I had my other leg on the ground supporting me and I actually ripped my shorts. And so that could have been like a scrote tear or something could have happened if I wasn't uh, more Did you careful. Did say scrote tear? What? I yes. Gotta, why, why, why one leg? I was one leg in it. <laughs> do you, is yeah, that a was, thing that people do? Was one leg in it. But why? Dogs do that? Thank you. Dogs he, do that? He understands. You are not a dog. I do not understand. I got that dog in me. Yeah. And it, it works on... It, it works on flexibility. You're like doing basically the splits. Yes. Upwards. It's a gym exercise. You're exercising while you piss. Yes. Is it a Holy comfort fuck. thing? Oh my God. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Oh shit. There was a fucking cheetah in the outside of the fucking wilderness. Yeah, thanks. Holy shit. Did you get him? Yeah, I, I shot him and he's dead, by the way. You want me to go and grab dinner him? tomorrow? D um, dinner tomorrow. What were we talking about? Oh, pissing. Yeah, Joe's Joe's a very interesting guy. Joe has a lot of um, uh, quirks like that. I've um, Joe, we we used to. There's a cat. This is the thing that you shot. This is the cheetah. Bag it and tag I it. I thought it was the cheetah. You want to skin this? No thanks. Okay. How does it smell? There's a cat in the tent, by the it, way, it, for our audio like only perfume. listeners. And it smells like perfume. It smells like. And mm. it's dead. It smells like Santiago. I'm bleeding. <laughs> Don't touch me. My question is if there was a zombie apocalypse, yes. let's say that, like, at what point do you give up? Like, at what immediately. point? Immediately. Immediately? Me? me? Immediately. What if you have, like, a, what if you're with us? What if, what if you're like, what do you mean you specifically? I, d I just think that like, given that there's no zombie apocalypse right now and me myself at every given point, I'm like, hmm, I could try hard at this moment or I could just kill myself. And that's constantly there. So then I'm just like, if there's zombies involved, I'd be like, oh, that's yeah, a, now, that's now this is the sign. The, I'm just gonna end it. Yeah. But if I was with you, of course I wouldn't do that because then life would be worth living. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Can Ooh. zombies swim? That's a good question. That's a great question. We Anybody could go know? to like an Epstein. We could go to an island. We could go to an island. That's what I was thinking. Maybe just a boat. I'd get on like a, you know, a little nice yacht or something, you know. Where would you get a yacht? Oh, I'd steal it. You'd We're having a zombie, it. you know. Yeah. They're probably a zombie uh, yeah. you know, also, by then. we could probably just steal a yacht in general and then sail out really far into the seas where there aren't laws and then we would be fine. We could just do this today. Right now? For no Yeah. It, the Okay. Well We're then. landlocked right now, but it's not that far to water. We go to Florida. They have really nice yachts. We could just go in the yacht and sail to a country where there's no extradition, ex extraditionary treaty. I don't, don't look at me. Right. And then we could just like party on a yacht. We could do this now. Party boat. Then why doesn't everyone do that? It's a good question. Not everyone has the guts it takes to get a party yacht. The chutzpah, the guts, gusto. The Thank gusto, you. Yeah. the gumption. The gumption. Do you have gumption, Joe? I wish. I've been trying to get it for years. I don't know where to buy it. I don't know <laughs> yeah. who's who's giving it out. Yeah. I don't know. Would yeah. who would be the nightmare? Well, okay. How many people would you take on this yacht? Family, friends, mom, dad. Bring Ooh. food. Bring In water. Interesting. Bring well, I don't know. We, we wouldn't be like surviving on the boat. What would the, we is be this doing? in the context of this a zombie apocalypse? Okay, this is zombies. And, and zombies right are now, everywhere. They're everywhere. Right now, a zombie walks into this forest 
Okay. <laughs> and we shoot it with a bow and arrow and we're like, okay, there's a zombie apocalypse. Mm -hmm. What are we doing? Staying here. Mm. Staying here. You said would you would you try to eat the zombie meat? What No, because like everything that I know about zombies, I have to stay away from it. That's mm -hmm. the whole point. L worth like even if you were starving, you wouldn't try a little zombie. I'd eat meat. you if you weren't infected. You would eat me? I'd be first? like a cat. I'd be like, Will, um, are you sleepy? Are you going to bed now? Mm, interesting. I'm gonna also go to sleep. And I wouldn't. I'd kill you and then I'd eat you. How would you kill me? With a rock. That's not heavy. Ooh. Maybe not. This. <clears throat> That's like too hollow. Yeah. I would wake up immediately. Joe could kill me. No, what about I, like, Joe, I think suffocation if I, isn't. Yeah, if I'm here with Joe. Oh my god. I see I'm teaming up with Joe because he's he's bigger and stronger than me. And you, so he could kill both of us. So I'm teaming up with him, and then we no, can. But then he's just share gonna kill Will. you. No, no. Well, eventually. Yeah. But by that time, I'll have set up a trap. So why would? So you... I'll kill Joe eventually. Mm. But I need more time to think about how to how to arts outsmart you. Okay. Well, I would plan on getting like a tree stand of some sort and mm -hmm. getting high up in the trees. And mm -hmm. at night, I would leave you guys, and uh, I'd go somewhere where I knew you guys were gonna walk the next day, and I'd oh, ambush you fuck. from above. Ooh. No one's looking above when oh, they're hiking. You do what? Everdeen. From above? Yes. Oh, I jumped down on you with a knife like Rambo. You ever seen like First Blood? No. Okay. No. Well, he's never seen movies before. <clears throat> never. You I seen think you click. would die. I think you would die what? yourself if you were up in the trees to the point and you jumped down on us. No, he seems like a tree man. I've got cat-like reflexes. Why are you supporting this? He's killing you too. I I think it would just be an interesting way to go. Maybe I also am. he's the main character. Like I've in this situation, he's clearly the main character. So I'm giving up. Joe would survive the longest. Yeah. Oh, for sure. For sure. Do you think the two of us could take Joe? Uh, yeah. For yeah. sure. This not this was not the question. How, we're surviving a zombie apocalypse. <laughs> well, my well, my kind of thought process. Hear me out. <clears throat> is in this hypothetical, the zombies like seem kind of lit oh all right like the zombies like band together they're like they they still listen to music like they they're they cool have, they're cool zombies yeah like they're just a little fucked up and they eat brains like they still like so like cannibals they're, at this point they're just cannibals well i wouldn't say that they have personality but they're just like we party yeah yeah they party but in a zombie way like yeah yeah, Shaq West, and you get it real bitch. So okay. they're, they're, um, what is it? When you're not, you're nodding off. What is it? When you take Sleepy. a, when you, no, no, no. When you Tired. take an, a, an opioid. Uh, faded. Yeah, faded. Nice. <laughs> zombies are so faded. So the word you were, we're looking in, for? Yes. So we're in South Virginia, no, West Virginia. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. I'm not what? making that joke. I'm not making that joke. We're in the Appalachian Mountains. Everyone's uh, nodding off. Everyone's faded. Everyone's faded and we are the like we are the boring ones because we're not zombies. Like if, if like I was hiding from a zombies and I heard like them like having a function. <laughs> Wait, this is an interesting question actually. Would you give up your personality just to have fun and to party? You have no sense of self, no sense of identity, but you you're just down to party and feel alive. Sounds like a Saturday night to me. Mm. <laughs> well that's uh uh, but <laughs> <All right. laughs> that's not even the point is like it's obviously more difficult to be a human because you live your entire life just like in fear of becoming a zombie of dying of dying but you've gone past dying at this point right can you die as a zombie or are you just immortal Ooh, i thought you were already dead well that, but that's what i mean so are we conscious no then we we just have we're, two then we're practically urges. practically dead. We have our urges are to party and to eat brains. Those are our two like. So we're practically like fungus at this point. Like we have no conscious, but we continue in a direction for no reason at this point. Yeah, fungi can communicate. They got oh, like fuck. the. I think it's called mycorrhizal connections, mm -hmm. like tree roots, and you have these like fungi, like in they stretch for like miles and miles under the forest floor, yeah. and they all like communicate with each other. What are, they really, what are they talking about? Probably the best way to survive. But yeah. that that's still, it's not consciousness. And the communication is is like the same thing as like a computer communicating with itself. Anyways. It's like fungi like Twitter or what is it Fung now? X. <laughs> yeah, X? threads. Fungi, fungi threads. threads. Fungi threads. Fungi yeah. threads, yeah. Okay. Can we get an update on the fungi? How's it going, man? 
I don't know. I'm just <laughs> spread pretty thin. <laughs> yes. Yes. Um. Anyway, yeah. Joe's. Uh. Joe and I. Uh. I mean, part of the reason we got close is from some of our shenanigans in in class. Like, um, Joe once brought. It was. Was it the last day of school? Yeah. Wait. Actually, no. This is a. I don't think it was the last day of school. But he brought in like he filled his shirt with golf balls, and then walked into the classroom and just fell, and all the golf balls just spilled everywhere, all over the floor. Why? Because it was funny. That is funny. Yeah. So normally I wouldn't go out there. Like I got a low budget for like my jokes. You know, I can't really go over ten dollars. But uh, right. I was out there in this field checking out some shit with my boy Dane. And uh, I don't really know what we were doing, walking around. And we were like, oh, bro, there's golf balls. Sure enough, it's like a golf ball treasure, like, just everywhere. As far <laughs> as the eye can everywhere. see, there's golf balls everywhere. Mm -hmm. And um, so I collected them, and I had a heist ready to ready to go the next day. Mm. A heist. Uh, maybe that's not the right word. Well, a, a reverse heist. It was an acquisition of balls. It was a donation of balls. A donation yeah. of balls. Interesting. Um, what else? I mean, I would... I mean, there was some. I, I like to eat food in class. Like I would bring like, uh, like a full bell pepper, like a full cucumber. One time I brought half a watermelon in class. Ate it with a spoon. That was fun. Uh, what else? I watched him eat half of a candy bar out of the trash can, and I am not kidding. What? Like I don't. What? There was like half of a Snickers, and it was still in the wrapper, but like it like got like thrown out like on top. I don't know why. I don't know if like the teacher told anyways, but like you reached in there and and ate it. I did? Yeah. I've seen Joe eat a fucking can of beans out of a dog bowl on did the you? fucking last day of school. Was it's it somewhere clean? on the internet, yeah. Was it a clean dog bowl? Mm, there's beans in it, but I don't know. Other than the beans, I think it was good. Yeah. I've seen you eat nacho no. I've seen you eat nacho fucking cheese out of a toilet. Okay, that did happen. Yeah, that was. Well, how did it get in there? I poured it in there. Was there water in the toilet bowl? No. No. Was it in use? Was no, no. Well, we were using it for the nacho cheese. But you, it was a no, nacho it, cheese it had, toilet. It, it was not a shit. It was specifically a nacho cheese toilet. We bought the toilet for the cheese. Oh, well, we that, had, that's okay. Yeah, that's okay. What else? Is there anything else? That's like the that's the bulk of that's that's the uh, those are the highlights. This guy speaking like pop tarts earlier. Um, I had him over to my oh house my quite a long time ago, and uh, <laughs> he said, uh, "I'm hungry. Can I have a snack?" I said, "Sure." Give him a pop tart. The next morning he leaves, and uh, a few hours later, I see under my bed all of the crust <laughs> of the pop tart just picked apart, oh like left God. under there, like he like swept it under for me to find later. Why? And uh, never I'll never let, let it, down. I'll never let it down. But why did you do that? I didn't like the crust. But why didn't you just put it into a trash can? Why'd you leave it? I don't know, bed? okay? And I'm sorry. I'm sorry I put the fucking Pop-Tart under your bed, okay? Were you saving it for later? I fucked up, okay? I think that was the same <laughs> night that I got, I like, I was watching Impractical Jokers on like a, a a legal website and his on his Wi-Fi and his dad got an email saying that they were gonna like sue him <laughs> if I didn't stop if like it happened again. So like I was so scared to go to his house for like months afterwards. Like I felt like I was not allowed. I was not welcome at your That's house anymore. Fascinating. No, at first it was like my dad just said like, okay, make sure like Will doesn't watch that again over here or whatever. Mm -hmm. And he came back over again with his laptop. And I don't think he was watching Impractical Jokers, but the I think it connected to the Wi-Fi. He got another notice oh, and it was, was like, yeah, there was two. And that was when I told Will, I'm like, you cannot bring your laptop over to my house. I like, yeah, I, like, said, I said, like, there's I, no I way. To his wi -Fi yeah, anymore. like you're not allowed to. I had to like disconnect from his Wi-Fi. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, I fucked up. That was, that was my bad. <laughs> was that, is that, that's the bulk of, those are the highlights of childhood of childhood it's gone now i feel like there's so many more i feel like there's so much but more. you forget it because it's like, gone yeah now you're an adult are you happy right now are you happy joe i'm happy thinking i'm getting there the but you're not quite happy on days i am you know yeah i'm working towards it i think yep. it's like anytime i get happy i just think about how sad I just was and how sad I'm gonna be again mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. like if I ate nacho cheese out of a toilet and I'm t at the 
prime age of like 22 years old, I'm going to get like put in a, I'm going to get either like yelled at or like someone's going to be like, grow up. No, this is America. It's your toilet. It's your cheese. You bought that toilet with your hard earned money. Yeah. And if you film it, you can just say it's content. Right. Yeah. But then you're free. It's just that, but then it's, it's not fun more anymore. People, it's more people. Let's say I did film and I put it on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Then there's going to be the, the, who's this 35 year old guy eating nacho cheese out of a toilet. They're going to be like, that's a good point. In youth, you could do things that didn't make sense and there were no consequences. But now there are expectations for you to behave conventionally. And what a horrible, you know, future oh that my God. is. Oh my God. Do you, are you good? <laughs> no, I just, my, I just, I just ate so much. Like I, I ate th uh, three quarters of a pound of, of meat last night and I'm like, I'm going to shit myself. Wait, three quarters of a bit. In what form? Shout out Terry Black's Austin, Texas. Oh. Thank you. Uh, delicious barbecue. We went there last night and now he's paying the price though. Yeah. Worth it. hundred percent. Well, there's a hole in that chair. You can. In the poop hole? Yeah, Ooh. we should put poop holes in these chairs. Poop holes. Maybe, let's actually discuss the best way to poop in the woods since we're out here. Sure. Yeah, true. What's the technique? Is there a technique? You get a shovel and you make sure you're not down. You get a shovel? You, you make sure you're not down river. So you, you dig out a hole and then you squat and you take a shit and then you cover it up. What's the down river part? Can you repeat that? What's <laughs> oh, okay. Like if you shit and you're above a river right and it could your shit could leak down river and get into the water supply and you're not supposed to do that because then you're contaminating Ooh. fresh water so is that real yeah you're not supposed to shit down river. environmentalist here i environmentalist shitter what is stopping me from do you think like i could shit just in the water like i could just get in the river and just start shitting underwater i, I wouldn't because there's bacteria in it but people shit in the ocean i mean there's it just There's depends on the body of body of water. Nothing is stopping you from doing anything. You can do whatever Wait, you want. But isn't that what's the difference? Why is the bacteria matter if, if I'm just like swimming in it as opposed to like shitting in it? Because you could by opening single my handle hole, by opening up your butthole, you could single handedly ruin and contaminate uh, a body of water, a particular body of water. But if you shit in the ocean, it's not going to do much. Then then you're not responsible for contaminating it. You're just mm. adding to the problem. Damn. I think like if you poop in a river, it's not nearly as bad as pooping in like a lake or a pond because then it's just floating there yeah, goes, and people are swimming around you. You're all uh, kind of side eyeing you. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You're like, uh, I'm sorry. So, I don't know what that but is. But if you're pooping down the river, it kind of just like flows and it's going to get, it's just yeah. going to get. I call that a brown trout. It's like, brown yeah. Trout. yeah. So yeah. the next time we go to Burton Springs. I'm pooping in the water, in the river. Yeah. That shit was kind of gross. I thought it was beautiful there. Really? It smelled weird, but I loved it. <clears throat> I felt weird. I like the moss. I like putting my feet on the wall. The soft moss. There was moss. moss on the wall. Women weren't mm. wearing shirts there. That was like paradise. You Free weren't wearing a shirt. What? No, no, no. Women were oh, like. Oh, they were like. They were just fully like. boobies out. T tits out for the, for the boys. It was a lovely. For the. That was an expression that I came up with in high school. Oh, really? Tits out for the boys, yeah. Are you happy? No. And I don't think I will be. What about when you think about your childhood? I can't remember a lot of it. Do you remember more good moments or bad moments? If I shitted in the water, <laughs> then I probably would have to wipe in the water still. No, that's the beauty of the water. It's a no-wipe zone. It you cleans. just swim, and as your feet kick, it kind of just dissipates into the water, and uh, you leave a little brown trail it behind you. Sounds like you've done this before. Oh, many times. I'm a pro pooper. I wouldn't need toilet paper. No. No. Nope. It's a it's a large, um, what do you call it, bidet. I'd be yeah. scared to grab any leaf because I'm, I don't know what poison ivy, ivy really looks like. <laughs> so. Wait, wait, wait. You mean you're afraid to grab a leaf because you're going to use it as toilet paper? Yeah. Why not gamble? Makes life fun. It makes life fun, but itchy. Itchy butthole? That sounds terrible. Mm. Have you had an itchy butthole? Mm, oh, yeah, on a plane once. <laughs> that shit was sucked. I'm not going to lie. That shit sucked. <laughs> on a plane. Um, what else? Have you ever had to shit on a plane? 
Oh yeah. And that's the worst place possible. I'd rather shit in the woods than on the plane for sure. Yeah, me too. Yeah. I, I'm afraid because as a human, I'm like, I'm not supposed to be up here. This is unnatural. Mm -hmm. I don't think I've shat in a plane because I'm very like careful about, you know, my body, the bowel movements. Like before I go on a plane, I make sure that I don't eat anything that's going to mm. yield a turd. I don't think I've had to shit that bad to, to wear on a plane, but I've also never had to shit in the woods either. And for some reason, shitting in the woods seems a lot more uncomfortable just because I don't have a, like a... Oh, it's beautiful, though. A place to sit. No, no, no. It's beautiful shitting in the woods. Do you just squat? Yeah. You feel connected with nature. Because you realize... At that point, you realize nobody sees me. I don't... There's no need for privacy because it doesn't matter. I'm in nature. And then you're just liberated because... You, you're being watched by bugs. You're being watched by they, owls. They don't care. Fungus. They, they don't care. They want your shit. Because you're... The, yeah. Bugs want your shit. Yes. So they're like, feed me. They're happy. They're like, so you're, yes. you're doing a good thing. You're doing a good thing by shitting in the woods, making sure that it doesn't go down river. It's like the buffet for bugs. Yeah. Bug buffet. Yeah. yeah. You're decomposing body. Also bug buffet. Bug fay. How do, how do they find the dead body? I always wondered that. Like how do maggots find just dead bodies? Um, yeah. Do they have like an alert system where they alert yeah, their friends? They smell it. Hmm. Because ants, like, they go find a cookie, and then they're like, yo, like, check out this cookie. We got to take this. We, I Like, I need help. Y you seem like you know. Well, okay, so the fly is the one who's finding the oh. thing to lay the eggs, and then they turn into maggots, and they turn into flies and hatch out of the rotten oh. flesh. So the flies, that's how they got them wings. They're flying around mm -hmm. looking for some good, yeah. good okay. place to lay oh, their eggs. Yeah, maggots aren't usually just, maggots don't just roam around, huh? I mean, they don't have any legs or anything. They just got an inch along. I think they couldn't get that far. Yeah, they they centimeter just, along. They, yeah. Their entire life as a maggot is like, they're born up in that poop and sh boogers and they grow into a fly there, right? Yeah. They spend their whole childhood just eating shit. Like, that's paradise for them. Like, not even in a bad way. They're like... Yeah, they love it. Imagine that's being in a fucking mound of, of shit. pizza. No, pizza. We are in a, we are born in a mound of pizza. Yeah. And we just swim around in the pizza. We never get full. And we're just, and but then if, we turn into a butterfly or a fly or that. And then we can fucking fly. Will, How live would that be? Shut the fuck up. All right. How, li sorry. You're good. I'm sorry. Shut up. As I was saying, continue. <laughs> If I turn into, if, imagine you, you're you born into a pile of pizza. You eat that shit all your childhood, and then you suddenly are like, wait, I can fly? Okay, that's awesome. But the thing is, we <laughs> got to think about this, too. There's different things that maggots are in. You know, you got rotten meat, maybe an old bag of Taco Bell, you know, yeah. someone's poop, whatever. So it's kind of like, what do your parents pick for you? You got to hope your parents mm. right. aren't putting you on, like, that super ultra healthy diet. Keto. You hope they get you some, like... Yeah. yeah. They really put you on a food. on a cliff bar. What the fuck? Guys? I, didn't ask, I didn't ask to be alive. <laughs> Big ass cliff bar. I didn't ask oh, to be alive. Fuck you, mom. But we in this hypothetical, we're not humans with human sentience. We're maggots that have evolved to just be in the shit and then become butterflies apparently. Well, when we're children, we don't have the brain of like a But we have the brain of a maggot when we're an infant. Um, I disagree. You think infants, when you're when you're just born out of the womb, you're telling me that you have more so social awareness or sorry, brain capacity than yeah, a fucking. Yeah, I, I do, because you're constantly taking in information, recognizing patterns. You also are born with certain instincts that I don't think maggots have. Like, like what? When you're born, you instinctually will uh, try to suck on some titties. I mean, that's a real thing. Well, uh, yeah, and in the equivalent would be sucking on some pizza. Right. Yeah. So you know what? I take it back. Scientifically, but science, science are, scientists are worried because babies have the brains of maggots. Of maggots. That's why you need mama and you need pop dot to take but care of you. But maggots aren't learning like language. Like the the, the neither the, are infants. They are c constantly learning language once they're born. They're like in, taking mm. in that information. You're saying maggots are, don't learn anything. Yeah, they they don't. Have, has a maggot come up to you and been like, hey, well, how you doing? You can <laughs> no, speak. No, because they're not flies yet. Have you been talking to a lot of flies recently, Will? Yeah, I'm talking to one right now. It's okay. We're almost done with the podcast. We can go home soon. 
I'm editing this out. Why? Because now I'm editing this show apparently, and I'm gonna edit that. You're out. gonna edit my conversation I'm gonna, with the I'm, fly out. I'm gonna put a full like censor bar over that, and I'm gonna go here, and I'm gonna cut this together. Will, what the fuck? You can't say that. What? That's disgusting. Cat, did you hear that? Bear. Can you, you believe bear? Your cat's right there in your lap, idiot. All right, are this. we done? We're done. Wait, wait. Let's say goodbye. Oh, go. Well, I want to say. Well, how much time do we have left? Right now, you're at like forty-three minutes. Okay, so we have like ten, five minutes. Okay. Well, I just wanted to say that uh, Joe is a really great guy, and I really appreciate him being here. Yeah. And he's also contributed a lot of ideas to my um, life and uh, my mm-hmm. my job and um, like. Like, like the create, like part of the reason I even am the way I am is because of how, like, he his brain works. <laughs> like, I want to, I and I wrote you raised down a, him. A couple of ideas I wanted to pitch, um, because he came up with a few yesterday, actually. Oh. Um. Did you see my text I sent you, actually? Bro, this <laughs> this dude texted me last night at three a.m. He just, I just get a text. Merch idea, Uber driver scented cologne. Um, d- dancing emoji, car emoji, shaking emoji. Um, do you want to elaborate or do you want to leave it up in the air? We've all hopped in the Uber. We've all smelled the smell of the Uber. Of the driver? Now let's capture that smell <laughs> and put it in a bottle and give it to all. For, for... Is it a, like a, a mixture of car freshener? and le- Were you there for the conception of this idea? Yeah, yeah. Who were you just? The bear. Oh, out. okay. The bear. No, this was. Okay. Talking about oh, okay, 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 okay. Um, I think that's a great idea. I really, my favorite idea of yours yesterday, because you were on a roll yesterday, was um, le- leftover shelter, which um, is a, like, it's like an animal shelter, um, because I was talking about the animal shelter yesterday, mm-hmm. and, but it, instead, you, leftovers that are unwanted that you have, you put in a shelter and then. There's, people can come and eat the leftovers. There's an app for that. They they have an app for that, where you can if you if you have leftovers or if somebody doesn't pick up their food order, it goes onto this app and you can like pick up food that's available to you for free. Uh, I don't know if it's for free. I think it might be a discounted price. Because if you like, no, it might be for free. If you like, make some like some damn tuna casserole. And mm-hmm. you're not gonna eat that shit. Mm-hmm. I think it has to be from a restaurant. I think it's not like food that you make. That's the app. But th- this is your idea where you you make. This is Joe's idea. This is Joe's idea. You have leftover pizza that you just made, and you're like, "Fuck, I gotta give. I got somebody has to have this. Somebody food. has to eat. You this. take it to the food shelter. Yeah, this would be like real home cooking. Like you don't want that restaurant shit. You want authentic. <laughs> like mm-hmm. everything's a little different each time. Mm-hmm. You never get the same dish. Mm-hmm. It's always, you know, it's unique. I like that. But. Okay. Yes, but also like, it's unwanted for a reason. Like, it's there's a chance if I go and get some tuna casserole from a leftover shelter that it's just gonna be like some ass. Like, it's like, oh, I fucked up the recipe. Let me just give it to the leftover shelter. Mm-hmm. Bad people would do that, but we're hoping that good people are contributing good meals to this place. There'd be some quality control. Joe would do a sniff test. He'd be like, "That's ass. That's not tuna casserole. That's that's ass." And I'm one to eat ass, but not in this context. Damn. Yeah. I mean, my all-time favorite idea of all time from Joe is he his idea was that I just I go in public and I throw ham at people. It's it's still <laughs> a good idea. Your it hasn't Elvis? changed. Yeah, that was five years ago. How did you come up with that? I don't remember, but ham's just great. Ham is funny. Love ham. A lot of stuff you can do it. You can eat it. Mm-hmm. Turkey. You know, build little like ham fortresses with it. You know. You can do that. You know. I don't know if I, but we'll have to workshop that idea. Okay. Don't touch the fucking cat, Will. All right, I'm wrapping it up. We're done. You want to say goodbye? Thank you for watching the Hypothetical Nonsense or listening to the Hypothetical Nonsense podcast. Thank you, Joe, for being here. Any, Thanks, anything Joe. to scream at the world? No, just thank you guys so much. Stay positive and keep watching. Yes. Damn, I yeah. Love that. That's better than any outro that was we've done. Really good. Okay. All right. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. I don't love you. I Bye. Love you. <laughs>